Hello, welcome back to Ride This. The Toronto Bike Show is finally back after a two year absence and the MMIC here in Canada graciously invited us to the Toronto Show as media. We found that it was pleasantly packed and even with four major manufacturers not going to the show, it seemed very busy, especially on Saturday when we were filming. Now you could say that it was a bit of an illusion because the building was actually squeezed into two this time rather than three. And some people we talked to were a little surprised that four factories did not show that they may have been going to actually see. Uh, it's definitely gotten smaller. It's still nice to be out and about amongst people and motorcycles, but uh, it's a little disappointing. What'd you come here to see? The Ducatis. And? And I'm here. I mean, there's a couple at the, uh, for used, used ones, but no, uh, you know, I'd like to see all the new models. And in your lifetime, coming to the shows, how many times has that happened? Once. First time. First, first time. time I can ever remember. I've always loved to see the Ducatis and they're not here this year. It's the first time ever. So. Well, it's, first of all, the crowd is large, uh, very pre-COVID. Uh, the disappointment for me, though, is that the brand that I'm affiliated with, BMW, didn't come. What's the BMW you wanted to see? Uh, particularly the S1000R, which is uh, the one that I'm waiting on delivery of. So I uh, would have liked to have seen that, would have liked to have compared it, particularly the seating position to, say, like the CB1000R that's here in the Honda booth, or uh, I would have loved to have seen, I've been able to compare it to a Ducati. Ducati's also not here. So Ducati, you come back in 2024 as well. But I think everyone that I saw was just happy to be there again, seeing friends in the middle of winter, trying bikes, and just having a good time. We had expected Honda to steal the show with the new Transalp 750, the CX500, and the new 750 Hornet. But alas, Honda Canada would not even confirm with me that they are even coming to Canada ever. What they did bring, finally, was the Trail 125. It's been in the US for two years. The new Mexican-made CF-150L. It's been in every southern country and overseas, but not in the US or Canada. But, so it's the first time here. And that was the big news from Honda. A little, uh, excuse the pun, disappointing. And the Harley-Davidson marketing machine was there and the booth was fairly busy. But I didn't see any buying going on, just a lot of looking. And interesting, the new president was there. He literally just started in November. And off camera, I had some comments with him, asking him about where he's seeing the future of motorcycles going. The only thing that worries him right now was the ban on gasoline engines in 2035. The only thing that worried me was that he was hoping to get his motorcycle license this summer and is new to motorcycling as he came from Volvo. Can Am had a very large display with their three wheelers and two interesting electric motorcycles up on display stands that we couldn't touch. They looked great. They're supposed to be coming in 2024. And that's when they tell me they might get the licensing figured out here in Canada. There'll probably be some sort of a special e-license coming soon. What we here in Canada call a license to print money. For a license. Suzuki, unlike Honda, did bring their new twin to the show and it seemed to get a good amount of attention.
But what I personally noticed this year was the lack of bags proudly showing off purchases. You know, helmets, jackets, things like that. Didn't see much of that anywhere. People are definitely excited. I mean, after two, like you said, two and a half years of nothing, this is something. So it's busy, it's a Saturday. There's a lot of really shiny bikes out here. Some are missing, some manufacturers are missing, but um, I'd say all in all, I mean, I'm, I like what I see. And with that, the show finished for another year. And I hope the turnout was reported to the factories that did not go and that they will be back again for 2024 show. And if you did make it out, let me know in the comments below what you thought of the size and the show itself this year and being back after two years. Did you have a good time? Now we just have to wait for spring as I look out the window and it's snowing again. So don't even get me started. Take it easy out there. Ride safe. Ride this. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.